Some dogs are easy to train, and as we found out last week, some test the limits of your patience. Many of you agree with the breeds that made the list, but quite a few more of you noted that several breeds were not present on that list. These dogs are not dumb, and they are not bad dogs, just a bit hard-headed. So let's check out seven more dogs that just might make you blow a fuse. You're watching Animal Facts. Number seven. The German Shepherd Dog is intelligent. The breed tops the list of any measure of intelligence, according to a book published by Stanley Corin in 1994, The Intelligence of Dogs. The German Shepherd is also highly trainable. In fact, German Shepherds are capable of learning a wide variety of highly complex tasks. This makes the breed one of the superstars of the working dog world. But all that intelligence comes at a price. Stubbornness. The German Shepherd Dog is a dog trainer's dog. The GSD is a high-energy, strong-willed dog that gets bored rather quickly. They need a firm, confident leader with a smart training style. A well-trained German Shepherd is a thing of beauty, and is also proof that being difficult to train in no way means untrainable. But a bored German Shepherd is annoying and destructive. Number 6 Last week, in my editing haste, I accidentally added a clip of a Shiba Inu when I was talking about the Akita. While this was not intentional, it wasn't completely without merit. Many people often get certain breeds confused, the Japanese Akita with the Shiba Inu, for example. Two of the six, or seven depending on who you ask, native Japanese dogs, these two Spitz breeds share a lot in common, including a stubborn streak. The Shiba Inu is considered one of the most difficult dog breeds to train. People fall in love with the fox-like look of the Shiba Inu, but are less than prepared to deal with the breed's larger-than-life and stubborn personality. One of the largest hurdles to overcome is that the Shiba will not back down once they have their mind set on something. Giving up is not an option in the Shiba's single-state mind. Number 5 English Bulldogs are absolute sweethearts, but they can also be very stubborn, making them difficult to train. The English Bulldog's tenacity and resolve mean that it's difficult to change its mind once it's decided to do something, and even more difficult to get it to do something it doesn't want to do. However, they are an intelligent breed, although some might prefer you not know this. And though stubborn, the English Bulldog is surprisingly sensitive, remembers what it learns, and responds well to patient, persistent training. Number 4 A lot of you commented that Chihuahuas are difficult to train and stubborn. I somewhat disagree, but they are notoriously difficult to potty train. The issue with Chihuahua stubbornness is not for lack of intelligence or trainability. In fact, the Chi is great at learning tricks and is bred to be a companion. Chihuahuas may be petite dogs, but they actually have a big, strong character. In fact, Chihuahuas have the ability to control a home and to manipulate their owners. There's nothing inherently difficult about training a Chihuahua. The problem is boredom. Many Chis don't get proper mental and physical exercise or socialization. These small dogs don't usually get to go to the dog park or get engaged in a good game of fetch. And they become stubborn because they're allowed to be. Number 3 From a tiny dog to a huge dog, we had the Tibetan Mastiff. The Tibetan Mastiff, unlike the Chi, was not bred to be a companion dog, but rather a working dog. And the Tibetan Mastiff is wired to do that work. It's a highly intelligent, strongly independent livestock guardian. These strong-willed, self-reliant dogs will attempt to control of every situation, unless you are an assertive leader who demands the dog's respect and can take charge. The Tibetan is a huge and powerful dog. It requires a strong, confident leader and is often too much dog for the average household. Number 2 All Terriers share some common traits. Intelligence and stubbornness top the list. 
the Jack Russell is an active, adventurous, independent little dog. Those are the family-friendly adjectives. I'm sure some Jack owners can come up with some more colorful ones. The Jack, like the German Shepherd, is a highly trainable dog. You 90 kids probably remember Wishbone. But easy is a word that is not often used to describing a Jack Russell in any way. That is unless you're describing its ability to get into mischief. GRTs have lots of energy. Without a job, that energy is channeled into more dubious activities. You probably already experienced that if you live with one. The Jack is not a toy dog and requires tons of outdoor exercise and adventure. Consistency and discipline are key to training a JRT. Your Jack will likely never be the top dog in obedience school, but can excel in dog sports such as agility and terrier trials. Number one. The Semyon is beautifully stubborn in that it is beautiful and stubborn. Like the Akita, Shiba Inu, and Siberian Husky that got the number one spot on our previous video, the Samiad is a spitz breed of dog, which means intelligence and stubbornness are not traits they lack. I'll let my friends over at Yeti's place tell you about it. Samiads are very stubborn dogs <laughs> who just happen to be very smart, which means that they don't want to listen to what the people want them to do. They want to do what they want to do because they feel that what they want to do is much more important than what the people want them to do. Now stubborn doesn't mean that they're not smart because they are the smartest dog around. They love playing games and they love having excitement happen in their lives. If the training is boring, they'll wander away and they'll do something more exciting. Change up that training game often by creating some new fun stuff to train them with. Instead of only the treat, involve some other fun stuff like a squeaky toy or a tennis ball. Thanks, Yeti's mom. Yeti's got a fun channel. There's a link in the card. So do you have the strength of will to take on one of these stubborn but amazing dogs? What breeds did we miss this time? Tell us about your stubborn dog in the comments. How stubborn are you? You made it to the end of this video. That's pretty stubborn. If you liked it, uh, never mind. I, I can't tell you what to do. Hey, thanks for hanging with us. And as always, catch you next time.